How to create live extruded text in Finity Photo. All kinds of designs can be created. Go to the artistic text tool and create some text. I'm just gonna create the word text. It could be any size, could be any color. But I'm gonna create some text that's very, very small because I wanna go outwards. I wanna make it bigger. So create that, very small. And you'll notice I've got a crosshair there. With the move tool selected, if we go all the way along here, you'll notice there's a little enable and transform origin. Make certain that's on. And then you can reposition it. So just go over there, you get this crosshair and you can just drag it up here. Now this is gonna be the vanishing point for all the text. Then go to the layer with that text selected and go to duplicate linked. With that, you can then resize it. So just go there to resize. And once you start resizing, hold down the command key or control key on the keyboard, depending on PC or Mac. Just resize it slightly in the direction you wanna go. So it's now just gonna be outwards, zooming diagonally. Then go to command or control J on the keyboard. And then you can repeat that just over and over again, maybe 50, 100 times. And that will create multiple layers but they're all duplicate linked. Now at this point, you can't see anything. You can't, obviously it's all black. I want the word text, the first, the front layer, to be a different color. So how to do that? If I go and change the color now, if I just go here and change it to green or red, they all change. Now I don't want that. What I want to do is just change the first one. So make certain you select the first one, so you can just select it here, and then go to the links panel. So go to the links panel, you can find that in the window menu, and make certain you change this one. So layer effect parameters, and there's a, just a little link at the far end. Just click on that to remove it. Well now what you can do is you can go here, click the effects, go to the color overlay, turn that on, make certain it's uh, selected, and then change the color. So let's just put it to say blue or green, and then close. That's the only one that changes. Because you've broken that link, it is different from all the others. All the others are black. This one is green. Now you can still change text. So you can just go over here, the A, and you can put, oh, you think, I didn't want text, I wanted the word type. So you can put that. Unfortunately, you can't change the zoom origin. That's the only thing you can't change. If you're happy with your text, what you can then do is you can just go over here, here and you can select all the text that's below the top one. So they're all selected. You can then right click and go down to group. And then you can rasterize it. Now, of course, you won't be able to change the text then. So go to layer and down to rasterize. So once it's rasterized, you can add additional effects to it. You go to effects, so click there and then go to maybe color overlay. So you can click there, and with that, change the color from black to maybe red. So you've got text like that. You can also add a gradient. So instead, just go for gradient, and you've got that effect. So make certain you highlight the gradient, and then you can go here to the gradient, and you can see what you can do. Click here. So instead of white there, you can go to the color, and then you go here, just click that, and then you can just hover over there, so you can just go, to make certain you select this. This is the key thing, little picker. So go over there and drag over there, and you've got that color, that blue. Now, at this point, I don't want to use that. I want to use something else. So I'm just gonna click there, and maybe go for another color, and so on. But I wanted that as the base. So just click it, that little color, and it will change to that color. And then you can, of course, go and change the other one. If you don't want the black, maybe click that, click there again, and then again, color picker, hover over again, and maybe go for this blue. Again, you see that, and you can click that, and then you've got that entire color. But again, if you want, you can just change it just subtly, maybe go for a green or something. Just change the color to whatever you want to create all kinds of different type effects. And then, of course, you can close. But what you can also do is, of course, you can change the scale. So you don't have to keep it like this. So you can modify the scale, just change that. And as you do that, you'll see you get a different text effect. Also, scale that way. 
or maybe change the offset so you can see you can get another effect to so drag it try different ways of doing it or maybe change the angle and as you do that you'll see the different text effects again also you can change the type maybe go for elliptical and so on and then close if you want you can then select both of the text and right click and group so they're all grouped into a single design you can then turn it into a single pixel layer just go up to layer and down to rasterize now a single pixel layer and then you can manipulate it further with different effects maybe again go over to effects click there and then go for outer shadow and set the radius and offset and intensity and click close if you're using version 2.2 you can also now go to the move tool select that and press return or enter to display the move and duplicate click duplicate number of copies set it instead of one maybe go for 22 or 25 and then change the rotation and create different text effects from that and click ok well i hope you found this tutorial of use any questions please put in the comments below a like or dislike always great also please subscribe I've added lots of other videos about the various features in this video, so please check those out. Bye.